Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. I'm off work now. So excited. Uh, gotta go bait the turtle trap. Today, we have a heart and a tongue that someone decided that they didn't want. So the turtles get them. Let's leave those there. But while we're on our way there, I thought I might tell you real quick what we got going on today. Uh, a lot of the stuff we're gonna do today is gonna be pigeon related. So a couple videos ago, I had asked you guys um, if I should foster out some of the eggs from those new racing pigeons into some of the, you know, common or mixed breed nests and see if we can get a good jump start on. Now, I would say the majority of people said yes. Cycle those eggs as fast as you can, get them underneath some foster parents. Normally the more common birds like, you know, your rollers or just your street rat pigeons, some of those birds are better parents than some racing pigeons are. So I thought, you know, okay, makes sense. But some of you guys said I should leave the eggs underneath uh, the original racers. That way, hopefully, they'll get better adapted a little bit faster, you know, acclimate a little bit better. So, what I thought today is uh, we would pick and choose maybe two or three nests, something like that, and we'll foster some. Not near all the eggs over there uh, in the racing side, but we'll foster out a couple of them and see kind of what happens there. But first, let's go to the turtle trap. Um, I'm kind of curious. We've been getting a bunch of rain. Maybe they've been wanting the sun more. The sun just popped out a little while ago. Maybe it's a good day. Let's go find out though. Pulling in here to the turtle trap. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Looks like I need to get gas. Um, maybe I can be quiet enough we can see if there are any like see on the shoreline. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, let's go over there and see what we got. Now, the lung has been out of here for a few days. I just keep forgetting to bring stuff over to throw into the trap. Uh, let's see. Been a dry spell. We haven't caught anything for a while. But, you know, seems like whenever I bring the camera out and fill, I, I see one. There's one in there. Look at that. Heck yeah, look at that. That's awesome. We got another one. Um, boy, he is a dirty one. Hey, bro. Broseph, come here. You got some pretty red ears there. Here, catch you from your good side. Oh, he looks angry. All right, you guys love telling me that I'm right and wrong on this. Uh, does Grumpy here? Hmm. Male? Is it a male? That's my guess. Some of you guys have been talking about their toenails. I don't know, unless I had like three or four of them in front of me, I couldn't tell if those are long or short. Anyway, guys tell me, right, wrong, indifferent, is it a male or female? Doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, though some of you guys did ask me why I am catching these things. I'll put him back for right now. Well, let me tell you a story. So about a month ago, I pulled in, I parked down there, and then all the way down this corner, I saw it looked kind of like a fish or something kind of flopping around. It was kind of weird. I wasn't sure what it was. So of course I had to sneak around and see what it was. Uh, and I come up and it's a teal. It's like what in the world? It's a little teal. A little hen blue wing, but it was dead. It was getting absolutely murked on by a couple of these turtles. I could see them underneath it. Now teal is not a very big duck at all. Um, I have no proof that they killed it. I cannot say that for sure. But my best guess is I have no idea why else a hen blue wing teal would have died here. This lagoon here has been dormant for a number of years, so it's definitely not the water quality. Over at the dairy, like you get turtle or something like that in there, it's dead pretty quick. Like stuff does not live in there. But here, turtles live here obviously. I mean, there's frogs and stuff. It should not kill a duck. No one shoots this, which, I mean, I'm glad. I'd rather have turtles than poachers. But yeah, I was pretty disappointed that I had a hen blue wing teal here, and uh, there was about two or three of these dinner plate guys, sized guys, sorry, dinner plate sized guys, uh, munching on it. But if they're munching, you know, if they're that big and they're munching on ducks, if I put fish or something out here, they're probably just gonna annihilate those two. So, trying to get at least the bigger ones out. The smaller ones, I don't care near as much. Um, honestly, that last little small one that I caught, I threw him back because I'm not really interested in taking all the turtles out. 
um, because they do serve a purpose. They eat you know a bunch of the dead stuff and whatnot that's in here. Uh, but these big dudes, they seem a little bit more dangerous to the actual stock that I would put in the pond. So anyway, there's your reason. Well, let's get this thing baited and get this guy out of here. Yes, I'm very aware that the turtles are just going to eat it through the wire, um, but it brings them over to it. Can't hurt anything, right? All right, dude, let's get out of here. But while I'm here, I just thought I'd say, uh, the cattails aren't all dead. Looks like we might have a little bit of a start anyway. The beginning of something cool. Anyway, I got a good guess, so I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Man, some of these rollers are still pretty. Love the look of that bird. The old Swift, he's still fighting everybody. Now this nest, uh, I mean the eggs are still warm. I'm not sure why there wasn't anyone sitting on it. But we'll go ahead and candle all these eggs before we actually uh, move them to the nest. Because I want to make sure that they're still good. There had been some birds, as you can tell by the eggs, that had been nesting up here. But for some reason they just stopped. I don't understand. There were three nests up there and they were going. And they decided not to. But, wow. What's up, dude? <laughs> that Modena Swift cross. Uh, I think they look cool. They're kind of pointless for me to have, but they look kind of cool. You wonder what's going on, dude? Anyway, that there is the three-time champion bird. Still sitting on an egg there. You guys picked out the name. Champ. Um, there are a bunch of great comments, a lot of names, some I like a little bit better than Champ, but at least half, if not more, if you guys said, uh, Champ. So the three-time champion is now Champ. So, anyway, uh, I want to show you a couple things before we foster these eggs out. Since so many of the birds were nesting on the ground, I went ahead and put this nest in, and that one there. Uh, I had them laying around, thought, you know, might as well use them. So hopefully, these guys will go ahead and start using them right. So there is, I mean, that one there, make sure I get this right. That's a mealy cock bird, right? Got some black in the feathers. Am I right? Hopefully. And then this one here, would that be a, a silver hen? Red bar hen? Adam, if you're watching, please help me out, bud. If you guys don't know who Adam Archer is and you like pigeons, I'm not sure what your guys are doing on YouTube because he... The guy knows his birds incredibly well. It's amazing. Anyway, uh, hopefully he'll point that out for us though. But since I got these nests in here and I have all these birds doing their thing, uh, a lot of you guys had said that I need to get some pine needles in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go jump in the truck. We're gonna get a big old tote. We're gonna go get ourselves a bunch of pine needles. See how long they last. So I had dumped some in here before. Uh, it was like a five gallon bucket worth and it was gone like less than a day. It was insane. I, it was crazy to me. I found this tree right here. This is actually just in the ditch. This is gonna take a minute, so I'm gonna put you guys down. Okay, there is four or five gallon bucket fulls. Let's go take them up to the pigeons and see if they like them. Well, before we get going here, Ryan and his herd will not be quiet. Hi, Seamus. All right, you dude. You're kind of a jerk, you know that? Teaching all the does how to jump the fence. I really do not want to go buy a barbed wire right now, but uh, they're kind of forcing my hand, so here in the near future, that's got to happen. But let me feed these guys so they'll be quiet. Ryan, my dude. Are you this bitter just because you don't have a girlfriend? You can talk to me, dude. Okay, let's see what they think. Oh boy, I packed them in there good. All right. You guys got plenty of nesting material now. Well, I'm actually gonna get them another bucket or two, but uh, yeah, I got a bunch. I thought I'd say real quick though that the next chicken sale, fowl sale, pigeon auction, whatever you guys wanna call it, the next Amish auction, uh, it, they don't sell Amish there. It's an Amish put on by Amish. You, you know what I mean, right? Uh, anyway, that is coming up here in about two weeks. Speaking of that though, we're gonna have to cull the number of birds that I have because it's getting quite full in here. I mean, this doesn't look too bad right now. These are all Bantams. Uh, I'm actually really excited about them. 
There's some pretty cool colors in here, but like the little Japanese, there's a little Japanese rooster right there. That guy, he like has his own attitude. He's actually pretty chill. Uh, I mean, way too many. It is just littered with chicks running around. I do not need that many. Lay some eggs. I know it's probably gonna be another week or two, but it's not you guys, you guys are all roosters. Some of you down here though, lay some eggs. We need some. I think quail eggs would be fun. And then over here, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna keep a bunch of the turkeys. Maybe I'll sell some of them, I'm not sure. I am so torn. But the turkeys are loud, as you can tell, good grief. But uh, everyone's doing pretty good. Hey guys. Literally, I could spend an hour in here just watching these guys run around. What's up, dudes? Yeah, I know, I only give, okay, so I only give them a half a thing of water at a time right now because if I give them more than that, they just sit there until it runs out and just dabble and make a mess. Huh? Come on, dude. Come on. We can be friends. We can be good friends. Really good friends. Anyway, the geese are a whole lot of fun. Uh, and the ducklings are fun too. I don't think I'll get rid of any of these. I don't think so. It's time to get into what you guys came for. Let's go move some eggs around, check out the pigeons a little bit closer. Let's get out of here because it is stupid loud. Those turkeys, I'm telling you. Sorry about that. Let's go look at the pigeons and move some eggs around. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna candle these eggs and see if they're any good or not. Because I don't want to put eggs here if they're not any good. So let's check. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my phone. I see veins in there. See that blood vein? I don't know if it just started. I mean, you can see a little baby chick right there. That's the beginning of a pigeon anyway. What about this one? Yep. Same story there. Sorry, I'm trying to get to focus. Well, since they have veins and everything, I would assume, assume it's gonna be okay. Anyway, we're not taking eggs from Champ and his girlfriend. Uh, ooh, she's on the nest. Let's take a look at her. She's a little bit skittish. That there is the one that Champ is paired up with. Um, she's almost a solid black hen. I think she's pretty cool. Um, yeah, since Champ has a name, we should name his mate. What do you guys think? What do you think, what kind of a uh, name should we throw on this girl right here? I really want to catch her and see what year of, uh, she is. I'm going to do that real quick. All right, I just checked on her real quick. Uh, I let her go right away because I didn't want to hassle her too much. That way she can get back to nest. Uh, but she is a 2012 hen. So, now we know that much. That guy, or gal, whichever one is, is paired up with that one right there, I believe. Either that or one that looks a lot like that because, uh, it's a very splashish, you know, grizz almost. It's a very, it, it, it looks a lot like that one. I, I'm not sure it's that one though. It might be that one up there. Something like that. But anyway, uh, the red bird. One of the red birds is paired up with this lovely grizzle. I like her. They start nesting right away. This is the first nest. So I'm excited to see what they throw out. I love both those colors. I'm excited to see what kind of combination they come up with. But uh, we are gonna take eggs from two sets of birds and transplant them, you know, over into fostering. I've never been fond of one having its nest in there. So we're gonna kick him out. There he goes. That one was in there. So we're gonna take those eggs. swap them out. Wow, they're so much bigger. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Just how they're built different, but also like the eggs in general are crazy different. But anyway, these are going away. Now we are going to find one more nest uh, to swap out with the other one. Let's go figure out which one it is. All right, so that, that guy right there, I think we're gonna swap eggs out from underneath that one. Uh, I'm not sure why I picked this one, but I really enjoy the colors of that bird right there, so if we have a chance of getting more like that, we're gonna do that. Hey man, I hate to do this to you, but I'm gonna need these. Excuse me, you are gonna have to move, thank you. Before we swap these, we're gonna real quickly check them. 
I'm gonna check them real quick and see. Oh, look at those great veins there. Sorry, I'm trying to get the focus right. Yeah, that's good. Not super old egg. This one here. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's good news there. The eggs that we're taking out of the nest are good, but it is for the greater good. They don't look like they're that far apart in uh, incubation though. So I think it should be pretty successful. Well, uh, since I kicked Champ, well, he's going back to the nest right now. We'll kick him off again. Uh, since him and his lady are paired up and everything, and since they were off the nest, you guys had said that there was a possibility that because he's such an old bird, that he might not be fertile. And so I thought, what a better time, you know, than just check and see, you know, does he have anything left in the tank? Now I know because they weren't in here for very long before they paired up and everything, that there could be some residual from a previous bird if she was paired up with someone else. So these may not be his chicks if they're good. But we can at least see if they're sitting on good eggs. So we're gonna do that. Hey champ, um, can I borrow your, you know, precious belongings here for a second? Do you mind? Like, just a second. Thank you, dude. Okay. Oh no, that is a clear white egg. There is nothing going on in there. Oh no. Well, maybe, is that a, Nope, that egg's bad. Hey dude, can I see the other one? Oh no, that is... I am a little bit heartbroken there, guys. They should be showing signs already of taking if he is actually producing anything. Bummer. I'm gonna let him sit down for another three, three or four days. Um, they should be showing veins. I'd hate to throw them out just in case something weird's going on. Uh, but I'll candle them again here in three or so days and see, see if I need to take them away and give them around two. We couldn't end on that note, so we're gonna go look. Can you guys go fly for a little bit? So pretty. Sorry, the battery died right then. That's unfortunate. Anyway, we're gonna look at some guys that were definitely not infertile. What are you guys doing? You guys are getting so big. Hmm? Oh, no, 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 no. I know you're shy and everything, but it's a whole big world out here that you're gonna have to see sometime. Can you just sit on my hand? Can you just sit on my hand? You are a pretty bird. Losing a lot of the feather, losing a lot of those yellow feathers, you know, growing up, but uh, getting bigger though. That's a great thing. Let's see how your sibling is doing here. You're pretty too, aren't you? All right, what color is that? It's red. I don't know. I've given up. There's so many different technical colors for pigeons. Uh, I thought I had a pretty good grasp on it. I have been very wrong many times, so. Uh, I'm just gonna try and start and learn, you know, start over and learn things. So, if you guys see a certain pigeon that you want to call out, let me know what it is. I would appreciate it. Seems like regionally there's a lot of different colors depending on where you're at. So, different colors, different names, all that stuff. I enjoy learning. So, if you guys want to help me out, educate me a little bit, um, I'll do my best to remember. I'm not the greatest. I mean, like my grandpa always said, I have a great, I have a great memory. It's just, you know, pretty short. So. That's kind of my situation. Here coming up shortly, it might be the next video even, uh, is that pigeon hunt. So if you guys want to see a pigeon hunt, which I know most of the people that are watching this will not, but this pigeon hunt that I'm talking about, uh, Buddy and I, we went out and we hunted for some feral pigeons. They're delicious, no one owns them, but uh, you know, if you're interested in seeing something like that, that video is coming up. But that's it for today, guys. I know it was not a super long video. Uh, I actually might go up and just film some of the pigeons themselves. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. I should be putting out a pigeon video about every week. Uh, yeah, one way or another, hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Love the looks of that bird. Absolutely beautiful.
are you going with that? Hmm? <laughs> yes, guys, I know I need to clean in here, but uh, check that out. I'm getting all sorts, making his nest all better. His mate's his mate is sitting on the nest. She's arranging stuff, and he's he's fetching all sorts of new stuff for her. Hi, pretty lady. We knew that there was a pigeon nest in that one, and I believe that one right there was it that one. But recently, I've been seeing birds go in and out of that one, so I'm assuming there's another nest up there. And there's tail feathers sticking out of that one, so probably some in there. We should go up there and check again. <laughs> 